So it's super jarring. But the question says analysis shown below also applies to diffraction gratings with a line separated by a distance d. Ah. So um, I guess uh, why it's saying the this kind of uh, really jarring result. <laughs> what it's meaning by the analysis shown below is the, you, the first time you saw this picture was with the double slit interference. So what it's saying is that the analysis that was done for double slit interference also applies to a differential gradings with lines separated by a distance d. That's what I've been saying in many different places. So that's what this question is reminding you that you can still use that. What is the distance between fringes produced by a diffraction grading having 109 lines per centimeter for uh, this wavelength light if the screen is this distance away? So I think the one thing I need, so they already kind of derived all the expressions for you. Delta Y is X lambda over D. And uh, yeah, distance between fringes. Um, so the only thing that we are missing is really, um, we are not given D directly. Instead, we are given 109 number lines per centimeter. And really what you should know is D is just the reciprocal of that, 1 over 109. Uh, so in units of centimeter uh, lines per centimeter. Oh, sorry, sorry. D, so D, the 109 is in units of lines per centimeter. So D will be in units of centimeter. So... So that's our D. And I can just uh, plug in the rest of the numbers uh, for this formula. So X is um, uh, X is this the distance, which they've given us as 1.65 meters um, times the wavelength, 557. Uh, let me just convert everything to meters, basic SI unit, times 10 to the minus 9 meter, all of that divided by d, which I need to convert to meters from uh, centimeter, so uh, 10 to the power or times 100. So that should be delta y in meters. So to convert from meter to centimeter, I need to multiply it by 100. So yeah, that, that seems right. Uh, feels like I might have missed something. 1.65 meters away, lambda is 557. Um, oh, oh, distance uh, separation. If it's, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta stop uh, converting units in my head because, <laughs> uh, especially when there are reciprocal symbols, sometimes I make a mistake. So let me just do this properly. Whatever the number D was in, it was in centimeters. And again, the unit conversion, you multiply by a factor that's one, uh, top and bottom, same unit. So I want to get rid of centimeter on the numerator, so centimeter on the denominator. So meter on the numerator, meter is what I want. One meter is 100 centimeters. Yeah, so I should have divided by 100 and not multiply by 100. <laughs> yeah, so D divide by 100, okay. And I think I did the second one right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one centimeter of separation sounds reasonable to me. So uh, it would be uh, one point, if you want, point zero zero two. But uh, this last digit shouldn't be necessary. Most uh, questions um, have 1% tolerance a bit built in. So if you put in three significant figures, it should be good. So yeah, so this is just uh, reminding you that um, even though diffraction grading is a new device, and if uh, you remember seeing it in lab, it's uh, quite remarkable how much sharper the the diffraction or interference orders are. Um, even though, so it, 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 with all that newness, as long as you are focusing on the principal maxima, the analysis of that is actually very familiar because you can basically recycle the analysis we did for double solid interference.